Shalom everybody. The sun is shining. It is March. My house is a disaster zone. So that must mean it's time for my spring cleaning routine and you guys are coming along with me. Let's go hit it. First, OMG, I need a pick-me-up. So I am uh, huffing some Citrus Fresh <laughs> and then I'm going to put some in my diffuser. So I just have leftover residue basically um, from my diffusing last night. So I'm just going to feed my plants with that. Give my diffuser a quick rinse out. And then I'm going to put Citrus Fresh in here too. I've found lately I have just been craving, I don't know, like spring and summery types of scents. And Citrus Fresh is so uplifting and it helps to get rid of stink and like staleness in your house. So thought I would do that. Thought it'd be appropriate for some spring cleaning today. So getting the diffuser turned on and away we go. I've put on my WW radio podcast. Thank you, Lou Mangello. And it's time to take out the trash. <laughs> so <laughs> I've just got overflowing trash here. Ridiculous. So I was going to take that and put it in the garage and then refill the trash can with a liner, and then I'm going to freshen it up again with some Citrus Fresh. I'm just gonna put it on a little piece of paper towel and stick it in the bottom of my trash can, and that'll just kind of keep it smelling nice and fresh for a little bit of time. And then I had dishes already loaded into the dishwasher, so time to turn that on. And then I had some stuff that needed hand washed. Um, I've got my juicer on the left-hand side there, so I'm just going to uh, wash off all the parts there. Unfortunately, they are not dishwasher safe. I wish they were, <laughs> but that's okay. It's fine. Um, so I'm going to do some hand washing there of just whatever was left over in the sink um, that I couldn't put in the dishwasher. And then I'm going to get the crumbs off of my stove top here. So these are just kind of, I don't know, like meat pieces and um, things that escaped from my frying pans and who knows whatever else gets on the top part of your range. And then I'm just going to use my uh, Thieves Cleaner, my Thieves Household Cleaner, and spray it on the top. And I'm just going to take a paper towel and wipe it down. And there are some stains that have just kind of come with a territory um, that I could get off if I went crazy with the baking soda and the Thieves Cleaner, um, but I haven't, I, I'm not doing that today. Don't have enough time. So then I'm gonna go around and do the same thing with my countertops too. Gonna spray them all down with the Thieves Cleaner and uh, get them wiped up too. It's a non-toxic cleaner. It works fantastically well. So then moving on to my sink, a la fly lady, I'm going to shine my sink. So first I'm going to spray my thieves cleaner all around the sink and then use a sponge and some dish soap also to clean the inside of the sink and then shine up my faucet with the thieves cleaner and a paper towel. So then, since I live in a barn, apparently I'm going to take all of my towels off the floor and then give my floor a quick sweep. This is a Bissell Stick Vac that I got from Amazon um, years ago uh, as a Christmas present, I think, to myself. And then I'm also going to steam mop my floor as well. This is just water with the Bissell Steam Mop that I'm just going to run over the tile floor. I also do the entryway too, but you guys didn't need to watch me do all of that. <laughs> and I just have water in there. I don't have anything else um, in there to clean my tile floors. So then I'm going to take a rag with the Thieves Cleaner and going to go around the house and clean all of the return air vents. I do this um, as much as I possibly can. Generally, it works out to being about once a year when I spring clean, um, but it works great. So I just use the Thieves Cleaner. This is a Dollar Tree, uh, kind of like a, a microfiber cloth, I suppose. And uh, it gets into the grooves really, really nicely and attracts all the dirt and the yucky stuff out of there. So then I'm going to go around my house and clean all of the windows with the Thieves Cleaner and a paper towel. Multi-purpose. Guys, this cleaner is seriously the best. It is so, so cheap. It works out to being about a dollar, dollar fifty a bottle um, when you uh, dilute it down. It's a concentrated cleaner and uh, you get probably 20 or so bottles out of the, uh, the cleaner bottle. So it's fantastic. It works really, really well. All right, so I'm going to clean off the kitchen table here. Just going to pick up all the essential oils and clutter and everything that I just have out from the week and put all of this stuff away. 
And then same thing goes, I'm going to spray it down with my Thames cleaner and clean it with my paper towel. And this works really well, literally on all the surfaces of my house from my counters to my, you know, toilets and everything. Like it just cleans all the things. And there's a really incredible video of a girl putting raw chicken on her counter and then cleaning it with a Thieves cleaner and how clean it actually gets. It's really kind of crazy and kind of skeeves me out to think about raw chicken on a counter. But anyway, so then I'm going to go into my family room and I'm just going to fold up my blanket here. Now, this is one of those blankets that has kind of like stuffing inside to make it insulated. And the stuffing has migrated to one corner of the blanket. So if you guys have any suggestions on a how to get the stuffing back distributed throughout the blanket, that would be amazing. I'm actually tempted to like take the stuffing completely out of it because it's driving me batty. Um, so just going to fluff the pillows there too, and then move the other ottoman that I had on the big chair that's on the right hand side here. I just move that back. And then I had a mountain of laundry that I had to put away too. So going to get that folded and uh, put away just separating it out. This is both my husband's and my laundry. I try to separate things first uh, before I start putting things away. I feel like it just saves time a little bit by doing it that way. But so I had, uh, this is actually two, maybe three, three loads of laundry. Uh, that's just getting that put all away. Pretty basic stuff. I would do this anyway, even if it was spring cleaning or not. <laughs> and then we are moving on. So I've got some spring decorations, a wreath on the front door. How about that? Some bunting along the front mirror and a little welcome uh, sign there. That's from Michael's from years ago. So is this guy, a uh, cute little farmer uh, bunny rabbit there. It says happy Easter with big fluffy feet. And then over here, this is actually from the, tar uh, the Target dollar spot, those little uh, eggs there. And then this is also from Michael's years ago, like literally 10 years ago um, is when I got this little sign with cute little chicken bunny and all that. And then this Happy Easter bunting is from also the Target dollar spot, uh, I think from last year, I'm pretty sure is when I got it. And then I have um, the same type of thing. I made bunting out of the eggs for my mantle. And then I just have some other Easter decorations put up there. And now my house is nice and springy. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you haven't already and you'd like to, hit that button down below, subscribe, so you never miss a daily video. Happy spring cleaning, and I will see you all tomorrow. Ciao.